Let's learn how to use the Bode Analyzer feature of NIMIDAC. Before we get started here, always bear in mind that the analog outputs that get used for the analyzer are limited to plus minus 10 volts for maximum output and 2 milliamps for maximum current drive. Also, the pair of analog inputs that are used must not be subjected to more than plus or minus 10 volts maximum. Now I have this simple resistor capacitor circuit for uh, purposes of demonstrating the Bode analyzer. It's a 10K resistor and a 0.01 microfarad capacitor. It's arranged as a low pass filter. It has a corner of 1.59 kilohertz. All right, let's start up the Bode analyzer. And we see a pair of displays. One is the gain and the other is the phase. Gain defaults to decibels or logarithmic mapping. You can also use linear mapping as well. That's indicated on the left side of the display. Now we need to choose a start frequency for the frequency sweep, an ending frequency, and then a number of um, values per decade. Decade is a factor of 10 change in frequency. If you have an op amp based device, you can also choose to invert or not as needed. Notice that the stimulus and response are dedicated input channels. You don't have any options to choose there. So at this point, it sweeps through, it collects the uh, amplitude of the output circuit as well as the phase of the uh, output signal as a function of frequency. So we see that per for this particular RC circuit that things start to tail off uh, at some particular point. Phase begins at zero and converges or heads towards minus 90 degrees. Now theoretically the corner frequency is on the order of 1.6 kilohertz. Let's see if we can identify that frequency. If we turn cursors on, then we get a nice convenient display that appears down in the, the bottom. It says the gain is this value. And we can also read the phase. Now at this point, we're doing rather low resolution, so it's not easy to pick out that magical number of 0 0.707 that would correspond to the official definition of corner frequency. If you're familiar with the decibel approach, you know that my, the 3, 3 dB point, or a, a drop of 3 decibels, is the alternative thing to look for. So let me try rerunning this with more samples per decade. And clearly you see that it takes longer to make the measure measurement. So getting more measurement points um, obviously will have to require more measurement time. So we'll grab the cursors again and what we're looking for is the point that corresponds to as close as we can get to 0 0.707. And this is pretty close. We're seeing a frequency of about one point, looks like 1.8, if you round it, 1.8 kilohertz. Again, the gain in decibels is reported here. And for those of you that are actually doing what you call Bode plots, you are uh, actually plotting in logarithmic format here using a decibel scale. So that minus 3 dB point is what we're looking for.